I had a two-picture commitment with Paramount Studios, and uh, Hard Koch was in charge at that time. And I did one with Frank Sinatra called None But the Brave. And uh, then uh, they couldn't find another picture for me. And I had been in talking to Hart. He said, I don't know what we're going to do, Clint. We're trying to find something for you. can't find it. And they'd have to pay me if they didn't, you know, come up with a picture by a certain time. Well, I wanted the money. It was $40,000. But uh, I, I didn't uh, want to take it for doing nothing. And I had read a book by Hard Hill, the world's greatest bowman, and there was a page and a half in there about an, an old bear called, a grizzly bear called Slewfoot, that had, uh, would wait in there, herd a sheep, and kill them all for the sure joy of killing. And he killed a lot of prize steers and even bulls and uh, bankrupted a couple of ranchers. And so I told him my idea, and he said, you know, that's not half bad. He said, who do you know that's a uh, professional writer? Uh, and I said, well, I've worked with Warren Douglas before on some of the Cheyennes. So he said, all right, let's get a hold of Warren, and if he wants to do it, we'll put you both on the payroll, and let's see what you come up with. And that's how neither the Grizzly got made. And, uh, but it's got all the ingredients, uh, uh, the, the, the people in there, Nancy Culp and Martha Heyer, of course, who played my wife, and of course Jack Elam played the handyman. Everybody was great in the, in the picture. It was a good story, uh, and it just came out to be very, uh, a very nice family picture that anybody could go see and it had the excitement and the characters, and uh, it, uh, it's been very, very popular. We just got a hold of it recently. Uh, Paramount finally put it out, and uh, we have it on our website where people can buy it uh, from us if they want it autographed. Um, anyway, um, Hard, uh, uh, it, it worked out great. It just turned out to be a, a really fine little picture.